okay, we're gonna start putting things all together with this example. So this is a typical small program that you might be asked to write. You're being asked to create a program that asks for a username and then prints it out. And you're told you need to use three functions and you're given the values of these functions. You need a function called main that controls the flow of the program, right? You need a function that gets user input, returns it to the calling function, and you need a function that prints names. And you've been given the names, okay? And we're even gonna leave that there just to be useful. All right, so controls the flow. What that means is def main doesn't usually do much, um, at least in our programs in this class, right? It's all about learning how to use functions, not necessarily always the most efficient use of functions. That's a different class, right? So what I wanna do is I want to ask user for input and print names. Well, I can guess that I'm gonna to have to call user input. That's probably where I'm gonna start. So I'm just gonna go ahead and user input, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and mark these things so that I know they work. So I'm gonna add these little debugging statements. Print. And mark that as a debug. And this is so that I can see what's going on. I'm gonna do the same here. Now there are lots of ways to go at this, but this one is the easiest. Um, and I know lots of people that have been coding forever that still use this even when they have more advanced tools at their fingertips. All right, so what that's gonna do is that's gonna let me confirm that I'm calling each of those. So I'm gonna call user input and hit play, or <laughs> hit play button. Um, and I can see my little message, I'm in user input. Okay, good, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do. First thing is I'm gonna try to create this uh, value to get a username. Now we've done that a million times, right? So we just drop that in there. What is your name? Now, I need to return it to the calling function, right? So I could check it, make sure it works. What is your name? That's great. Uh, and then I need a return statement, right? Username. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my debug statement now that I know that that function works. So when it returns it, where's it gonna go? Well, it's gonna come back to user input. Remember, anytime a function gets a return value, it needs to assign it to a variable. So we're gonna call this name. And uh, so now we know that we're gonna call, it's gonna put this here, and it's gonna assign it to the variable. We can test that by putting a print statement here, print, just to make sure it works. What is your name? Name calls user input, returns username. Really should probably start that again here. What is your name? There we go. Put in B. All right, so that works. So I know it came to here, passed it back. So I can get rid of that. Now my next trick is I wanna pass it to print names to be printed. Well, remember, this assignment is only when I'm catching. Remember when I'm passing, I still need the function name, right? and then whatever I wanna send. So in this case, I'm gonna call it name, just because that's what I've got down here. And uh, actually, I'm gonna call it teacher name just to make my life a little easier. Come down here and call it teacher name, because that's what I'm doing. And then I can see down here, in print names. In theory, it should just print in print names now when I get to there, so I'll put in my B. Yep, I'm in print names, that's great. If I change that to print your name is comma name, right? What is your name? B, your name is B. So we can see we've got all this reusable code. I call main always. Main then calls everything else. Main tells the program what to do. The great thing about that is then I can look at main and I can tell what the whole program does usually, right? Because I can see how it all flows back and forth. It's a great beginning tool. All right, so name calls user input. User input asks for a name, returns the name back to main, right? So let's go ahead and just add a little commenting here. Calls user input receives one string, all right? 
By the way, please spell receives right. That's got to be the single most misspelled word in the English language, uh, certainly in my class. And this one, it uh, calls print names and passes one variable or parameter. Variable's great, parameter's fine. So now that I can see I've got those commented so I know what they do, and I can see what everything does. Calls, passes one variable, right? Receives one string. Easy.